Hello. Welcome to week four. This is the last week for the course. And in this week, we're going to be looking at developing online content using OERs. All we have learned from week one to week three, we want to see how we're going to use them to develop our content using OER. I am Professor Inegbedion Juliet of Ajaji. What are the content we'll be looking at this week? We're going to look at using OER materials as standalone course in a program, embedding OERs within tests or content, referencing OER materials, and we're going to continue with our assignments in Unit 4. So the time we would have spent on that particular unit, we will spend it doing our assignment. And on the last day, which is Friday, we shall have our live section. And in the live section, it's going to be the same time we had it two weeks ago. Now, let us look at the first unit, which is using OER materials as standalone course in a program. And in doing this, we're going to have our learning outcome, which is by the end of this unit, you will be able to develop an online content using OER as standalone material. Content development using OER as standalone material. What do we do with the lesson plan? Follow the lesson plan to build the content. The designer may not be the content writer or developer. The lesson plan is handed over to the writer or developer to guide the presentation of the content. The developer study the lesson plan to identify the types of resource or resources required in the content. So when you have the lesson plan, if you are the same person that is going to develop the content, go back to the lesson plan you have written and from the lesson plan you study it and identify the resources you have indicated in the last lesson plan so based on the resources you have indicated in the lesson plan that is what you're going to use to look out for the resource that you have so stated in the lesson plan so in this instance there are four three basic ways that you can do this first would be to start writing from the scratch or you adopt or you adapt or you repurpose or redesign what do we mean if you say starting writing from the scratch in this instance it means you're going to be the author you're going to follow your lesson plan that you have developed that you have designed and you keep writing, following what you have said you will do. Remember, the lesson plan stands as a skeleton that you need to build the flesh on. So when you do that, you are writing from the scratch. Or you now look out for an OER material that meets everything you have stated in your lesson plan. If you find that, what do you do? You adapt adopt the material the way it is it means you are not going to change anything in the material then if you want to adapt adapt means you have found an oer that meets fairly with what you have in your lesson plan it means it will not be 100 percent maybe you have about 50 percent of it or 65 percent of it or 75 percent of it and you are adapting it now, when you want to repurpose or redesign, you could do this from the notes you already have that you'll be giving to students on the face-to-face -face level. Now, you want to redesign it for an online course. So, what do you do? You pick that material you'll be using and redesign it, repurpose it to meet what you have been doing. 
So in this instance, when you are able to get this done, then you are free to use it. But in this purpose for what we are doing now, we want to go by the adoption. By adoption, it means you are using that material as a stand. You are not going to add anything from anywhere. So if you are going to use it as a stand alone, it means that material must meet everything you have stated in the lesson plan. So let's say, for example, let's have with our focus here for this particular unit, focusing on open educational resources materials. And in this instance, we have had our lesson plan. You have to study the lesson plan with a concentration on the required resources. Now you look out for the OER. We have learned how to search for our OERs. You have to search out for an OER that meets everything in that lesson plan. It meets all the specifications. And when you find that, you now adopt that particular material. But the problem is that it is often difficult for you to have a material that meets everything stipulated in your lesson plan. And that is why oftentimes we recommend adaptation or integration of your OER into your uh, content. But whereby you find it, fine, you use it. It means it makes your work easy for you. Remember what we said, when you are going to pick a material, using an existing material, sometimes you have to consider the length of time that you need to be able to work on that material. So when we are talking about using OER as a standalone, it means you have an OER material that meets what you have stipulated in your lesson plan. So I want you to try this out based on the assignment you are doing to see whether you're going to find an OER material and existing open educational resources that will meet everything you have stated in your lesson plan. So in conclusion, if you are using a standalone OER, you must ensure that every activity indicated in the lesson plan is in the OER materials. When you do this, then you are free to go. Good to move on. And with this, I say thank you for listening.